Hi guys, so tonight's video is going to be about how others perceive you. And I just want you to remember too, it matters most how you perceive yourself. And how you perceive yourself a lot of times is how the rest of the world is going to perceive you as well. A lot of times when we are having self-doubts or low self-worth, self-confidence, self-esteem, we project that out into the world and others pick up on that and see us in a different light than what we truly are when we are being our truest, most authentic self and loving that version of ourself. So we have four piles, pile one, two, three, and four. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile that you feel most drawn to and we're going to get started with pile one. So for pile one, we got this great job coin and it says thanks for going above and beyond save and redeem so you might be somebody who really comes into people's lives and changes it for the better someone who really goes above and beyond in helping others and somebody who really just does a great job maybe you also are somebody who acknowledges others when they do a great job really make sure to shine a light on that we have spontaneous go with the flow adaptable flexible zest for life curiosity we have raise your vibrations and focus on self-care so there is some advice in here as well because this is a reiki reading and it focuses on filling you with self-love and light be grateful for everything no matter how small so there's really a need for you to be able to raise your vibrations by focusing on self-care you do a lot for other people you go out of your way to help others it's time now to make sure that you give yourself the same love and attention and that you take the time out for the sleep that you need for the food you need for the self hygiene that you need and take time out for the time you need alone to recharge rest rejuvenate the time you need for friends and the time you need for work having a good balance on all of those things really helps you to be able to raise your vibrations and there's a need to really be grateful and accept things exactly the way they are start to notice the little things around you that you have to be thankful for no matter how small they are and then we got, you never wait for tomorrow. You know today may be all you get. So you're somebody who really, when you see an opportunity, you jump on it. You're somebody who really is able to adapt to new situations and go with the flow. And you love adventure and you're very curious and you don't want to wait for tomorrow because you know that today may be all you get. So you live your life to the fullest. Other people see you as living your life to the fullest. You always are there to lend a helping hand. So you're someone who's always there to lend a helping hand and other people really do notice and appreciate that. Stubborn, strong, resilient, unstoppable, and unbreakable. So you're somebody who doesn't give up, doesn't give in, you don't lose. You're somebody that really puts in the hard work and the hard effort and you're somebody who goes the distance. Somebody who can't be broken, somebody who can't be tamed. You speak your truth no matter the cost. You know your worth and that of others. Even after seeing the worst, you still always believe in the best in others. So you're somebody who always believes in the best in others. And even if you do speak your truth and voice your opinion on it, you're not going to hold a grudge. You're somebody who releases things like that. You're somebody who always believes in and hopes for the best in other people. And you're somebody who really speaks your truth and knows your worth and the worth of everyone around you and people really see and appreciate that Ooh, we have the five of pentacles we have the page of wands we have the six of cups we have the king of cups and we have the lovers so you're somebody who really knows your worth and you aren't going to accept anything less than what you're worth you're somebody who has been out in the cold before somebody who's been depressed somebody who's been down somebody who's felt unworthy but you're also somebody who takes a chance anyway you're somebody who has a zest for life and who 
enjoys learning new things and overcoming these challenges and overcoming these hardships. You're somebody who really is very deeply rooted and connected to your emotions and somebody who really expresses your passions and your desires without shame and guilt. Somebody who knows that they want something that is a free love, that is somebody who can really live and let live. People view you as somebody who can live and let live. Somebody that can be there when you're needed and somebody who expects others to be there when they're needed in return and somebody who can still go on about their life doing their own thing as well. You're somebody who's very, very deeply rooted to your, to your childhood, to your love, to your emotions, somebody who's really very balanced in your emotions, somebody who's very giving of your love and kindness and care, somebody who really may be a little bit reserved emotionally, but it's just because you're a very mature, balanced person emotionally. You're somebody who can face hectic situations and be able to maintain a balance and harmony within. You're somebody who is really able to express your love and emotion without fear or anxiety of the outcome that comes from expressing that. And we have the spider. So people also see you as somebody who really knows how to put in the effort to all the, and the attention to the little details to really create the reality you desire. I'm not sure where my book went. I think I put it away. Yes, I did. So, for Spider, we have... Creator of Prosperity Through Life's Work, Dharma. The Spider is an ingenious creator. Its greatest gift is weaving the thread of Dharma into a vast intricate web that supports the spider and those around it, both financially and spiritually. It is hard work, but the spider neither tires nor becomes impatient. This card reminds us creativity is everywhere. Be process-oriented rather than results-oriented, and soon your work becomes like the weaving of a magical priceless tapestry. Abundance follows. When in balance, appreciative, enthusiastic, prosperous. When out of balance, discouraged, tired, and forlorn. To bring into balance playful creativity. So I think you're somebody who's really good with children too. Somebody who works really well with children. Somebody who has a lot of patience with them. Somebody who has a lot of love with them. Maybe it's because of your childhood as well. There may have been something where you might have been abandoned in some way. You may have been very destitute, down and out, and you gained a lot of knowledge and understanding from this and a lot of interesting perspectives that other people may not always share. And you're somebody who really works very hard to create stability in your life and the life of others around you, possibly even because of past abandonment, things that you have gone through. So you're somebody who's very caring and nurturing for others. You also may be somebody who might disappear at times as well, too, because you need your own time and space sometimes. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye. So pile two. Others may per perceive you as somebody who really enjoys life, somebody who lives in the moment. You may be somebody who is musically talented in some way, comedically talented in some way, somebody who enjoys being around your friends, socializing, going out, having a good time, somebody who really likes to enjoy life and live it to the fullest, and somebody who enjoys being themselves. And there is advice in this as well because this is a Reiki reading focused on self-love and filling you with that energy. And there's some advice on how to get there. Active sports, athletic, confident, takes charge. Dreamy, imaginative, creative, and romantic. So you're somebody who's very, people perceive you as somebody who really is very solid and stable. Somebody who really is very imaginative as well very dreamy creative 
romantic, somebody who wears their hearts on their sleeve, somebody who is very loving, somebody who is very confident and takes charge in situations, somebody who's very active and athletic, somebody who is the life of the party in a lot of ways. Rise to the occasion. Let fear breed courage within. So your advice is to... If there is some situation you're facing that you are afraid to make a move going forward, you need to remember that you are this confident leader and it's time to take charge and take action to go after what you want. Let that fear breed courage within you. Let it get you in touch with that strength that is deep within you. That strength you have to be able to step up to the plate and take charge in whatever situation you're facing. We also have own up to any past hurt caused. Seek forgiveness and forgive yourself. So it's time now to come clean. It's time to make amends with the people around you in your life. It's time to free yourself of this burden by expressing your truth, by being your true self, by owning up to anything that you've done, by understanding that you're a human and you make mistakes too, and you are doing the best you could with the tools you had at your disposal in that moment in time. And it's time to understand that other people were as well. And it's time to forgive yourself and forgive them and release all this burden and this pain that's keeping you from jumping into your leadership role and going after your true desires and your true you might be imagining some sort of career change you might be imagining taking risks and going after what you desire and it's time to do that and then you would feel so much better if you were you never know what tomorrow will bring focus on the best case scenario yes let the outcome go. Just let it go and face this situation head on. Watch pile one because that would be a good energy to get into for you. You never know what tomorrow's going to bring. You might as well enjoy yourself. You might as well live in the moment and enjoy life. And people see you as somebody who really is able to do that a lot. And maybe you might be holding yourself back from doing that in some situation in your life right now. And it's time to step into the role it's time to step into what people perceive you as you make sure that no one is ever left out being around people helping and feeling useful is what fulfills you the most you may also bring a lot of people a lot of happiness in their times of pain or sadness as well because my nephew actually gave this necklace to me because i was afraid and sad and hurt at the time and he wanted to make me feel better you are a very straightforward person you don't sugarcoat it can hurt but when people want honesty you're the first person they ask so people see you as very straightforward very blunt sometimes but someone very honest Someone filled with integrity. Somebody who is going to say what you mean and mean what you say. You're somebody who helps people and enjoys helping people. And it fulfills you to be able to see people overcome the challenges in their life. You're somebody who never leaves, leaves anybody out in the cold. You're somebody who knows that you should always focus on the best case scenario and be optimistic about life. You're somebody who never gives up, especially on the people that you love. And people really admire that, I think, too. We have the horse here. So you're somebody who has a lot of drive, momentum, somebody who really pushes to get things done, somebody who really works very hard, and somebody who really is a very free spirit and enjoys being free. The world... Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Queen of Cups, and the Fool. And by the way, the King of Cups was in the first pile as well. So once again, if you feel like you need to watch the first pile, then watch the first pile. And if you do, you know, people may also feel you as being very balanced in your feminine and masculine energies emotion-wise. So people see you as somebody who's very cultured, somebody who may enjoy travel, somebody who really enjoys learning things about many different things, somebody who really brings a lot of messages of truth and messages of love, somebody who really is able to love in a very open way from before the scars and pain, somebody who may be on this journey towards knowledge or truth or this journey towards stability in your life. 
somebody who really is taking a leap of faith to go after their dreams, somebody who is confident and bold and is taking charge, somebody who is open and receptive to love coming in, and somebody who is just taking a leap of faith and expecting the universe to catch you. Somebody who is very emotional, loving, kind, compassionate, caring, nurturing. Somebody who really is very loving. You're a very loving person. And somebody who shows it. And if you picked pile one, you show it when you need to. And when the when it's right to show it. And at other times, you may be a little bit more aloof. It all is ba I think it's based off of intuition. So, momentum. Momentum, freedom, expansive energy, and force. The horse represents the most masterful form of earth energy within the deck. It provides us with momentum so reliable and so supportive that you can ride on its back towards any goal, no matter how difficult the terrain. A horse personality is fully awakened, fully alive, and cannot be defeated. The horse's freedom becomes available to us when we hone and collect our energy through daily practices. Physical stamina, exercise, and mental focus meditation are the secret weapons behind the horse's legacy. When in balance, achieves anything and never gives up. When out of balance runs away or feels weak to bring into balance strength training so you're somebody who really is very forward moving somebody who really is very supportive and reliable as well you're somebody that is there no matter what somebody that is forgiving loving open somebody that is just really awake <clears throat> people see you as somebody very beautiful so that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading, and I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below, or if you have a suggestion for another video, I would love to hear that as well. I hope you have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye.